is the only program designed for the kids to showcase their talent. Today we are opportune to be here with the only, first and only Librarian Youth Orchestra. And I must tell you, these kids, the past eight months to, till today, they are so, so amazing. So we will be talking to the founder of this group, the Librarian Youth Orchestra. But before then, we will take our break with Whitney Houston, the greatest gift of all. Kitty's time. So welcome back for that break, and you know Whitney Houston, the greatest gift of all. I love that song so much. And the part that I want to show life on today, teach them well, not teach them well, but show them all the beauty they possess inside. And this is what Mrs. Judy McGee has been doing with our librarian children for the past eight months. Showing them the beauty they possess inside. So, Judy, welcome to NMTV and Katie Stein. Thank you. You have been with the library youth for over eight months, teaching them the orchestra, the violin, and the cello. How has it been over the past eight months? It's been wonderful. These students work very hard. They've learned well, they've learned quickly. I've been amazed actually at how quickly they've learned. You'll get to hear from them just shortly, but um, yes, it's been wonderful. I teach here in Liberia, and then I also teach from the United States, so we teach through a distance learning program. So when I return to the States, classes still continue. So we, can, we have a computer set up with a TV screen, and I'm at home, and they see me on the screen, and we continue instruction every day. Wow. And then I return to Liberia, and we work here, and then I return, and we've done that for the last eight months. Must have been very challenging for you coming and going and teaching them by their screen and using the monitors and all of that. It must have been challenging. So There's been some challenges, but I have to say the rewards outweigh the challenges. So there have been challenges. Sometimes our internet doesn't work and we have a difficult time. Sometimes the cost for the flights is really high. Um, but I've been blessed because I work with the greatest people in Liberia in this room. <laughs> so. Thank you so much for our librarian kids. And this is what we need to say in the song to show the beauty they possess inside. Yes. And I must see from the smiles on their faces, I know they are wonderful. So I'm anxious to see them perform. And I know you are anxious to see them perform. So Judy, you and your children, it's all yours. Okay. Bonne it is time.
a wonderful and amazing performance by the kids. You did a trim the world with them. I must admit, I'm so impressed. But you have this upcoming program, by the fall. Sunday. You can tell us a little more about the program. Yes, this will be a historic event. We will hold a concert at the Painesville Town Hall on July the 7th. We've invited the President and First Lady. Our host is Vice President Jewel Howard Taylor. She will be in attendance and as many other foreign dignitaries will be here for this historic event. These students have six songs prepared. This is just a taste of what you'll hear. As you can see, they're prepared, they're ready to perform and to showcase their talent at this event. So we hope to see as many of you as you as can be there. Uh, we are selling tickets at still, so it's, there's still time to purchase a ticket at Painesville Town Hall. You can visit uh, my website, which is LiberianYouthOrchestra.com, and you can purchase tickets there. So when would the program be started on Sunday? 5 p.m. And the program will be about a two hour long program. Two hour long program. Yes. You heard it, and I know you are all gearing up, wanting to see these young Liberian kids performing the first orchestra for its kind in Liberia. Very first. So come out and support the kids. Come and show, you know, show them what they possess inside, the beauty, so that you all can enjoy it. So it will be at the Pinesville Town Hall, Pinesville City Hall this Sunday from 5 to 8. And you know we will enjoy it. You even want for the night to go set. So, Judy, do you still have other songs that you want us to? Sure. Will you play another song? Yes. Yes. Okay. I know you are eager to see them play again, right? And don't, don't just enjoy the, the music, don't just enjoy the children playing. Come and see them live this Sunday. Okay, yes. Judy, okay. it's all yours. Let me know your different notes. I want to know your notes. Play your notes. Me, yeah. 
a different note. And you should tell me where you play your because I got no idea. Absolutely no. So tell me your notes. Go ahead. D string. D string. G string. G string. E string. E string. No, you gotta go over here because nothing left here. The brain oh now. Let's go. G string. D string. E string. E string. Let's go. Play me here. Make it. Do something. Wow! Just give it up for them now. You know, that is the reason why I love Whitney Houston, the greatest gift of all. You see, Judy Maggie has given our children the greatest gift of all. With this, they will walk in their own path, path that no one has ever walked through. So, tell me, what more can we say? Please, my people, mama, papa, Liberians, all well-meaning Liberians, come out on Sunday and support these kids. This is the only way they will succeed in what they are doing. Yes, they will not go and sit down in the empty hall and then play and just listen to themselves. They have practiced for eight months and now they are here. So please come out and support them. So we will take one of these young girls. Oh yes. I see somebody smiling right behind me. Hey, hey, I got you. You know gender equality, right? So my young lady, hey, I see a lot of females in the room. Thank you so much. Give me five. No, you gotta put that volume out and give me a big five. Thank you for the bold step. Tell me, how do you feel playing the violin for the very first time? Well, I feel great. I feel fine. Oh, sure. And you're making me to feel more greater. So tell me, tell me a little bit about the violin. What's the difference? The difference between violin and cello, uh, cello is the big one and violin is the small one. And we put violin on our neck and cello I uh, between the legs and we play violin like this. Mm -hmm. When cello played just like that. You know, all my life to be really, really, really frank with you, I've always seen violin in a movie, not real life. But here today, you have the opportunity to play at the very early age. I'm so proud of you. I just want to be in that chair you are sitting in and learning the same way you are playing this. I can really enjoy the people when you play it, but to really see it real life, I haven't seen it. But I have the opportunity to see it and hear it and watch my own Liberian kids play it for the first time right before my eyes. So you care to show me the notes? Yeah. Go ahead. On the D screen, we have E, one finger on E, F sharp, two finger on D, and G, three finger on D. You hear that? I'm in classroom. Go over it. One finger on D is the E string, is the E note. Mm -hmm. Two finger on D is the F sharp note, and three finger on D is the G note. Wow, I am sharp. So you ready to play? Yeah, I can play. Thank you for teaching me anyway. I'll take my little notepad and write that one in. But then perform it so that I can see what you're talking about. Like this. Yeah, you play E. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, three notes. And four finger on the D screen is the A. Lord have mercy. You all are wonderful. So that's it. In the first Liberian Youth Orchestra, I remember coming here eight months ago when the Vice President of the Republic of Liberia had to come here and launch this program. And today, after eight months, this little girl can tell me her A note by holding two strings to make her A note, one to give her G. Uh, 
as I told you I want to use my notepad so that I can remember. So this is getting stuff and this is the part I love when the children are putting out their best because this is the only show to showcase the talents of our own kids. So it's right here on Ellen TV. So Judy, do you have another thing to add? Do you have Yes, come, come, Judy. I must give you a hug. First, I must give you a hug. Mm, thank you for the library oh, kids. You're welcome. Yes, welcome. for making all those sacrifices to be here and there and teaching them. Mm -hmm. I must admit, you are wonderful. You are not just a mother for your kids, but now you mother all of them. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you so much for making life proud. Thank you. Thank so, you. do you have any other thing to add before they can play one or two? Sure. I just want to add, please come support your children. These children are talented. They've worked hard. We want your support, especially if you're listening to this. If you're a senator or the president, um, these are your children, and they need your support for this historic event. So please come on July the seventh, Painesville Town Hall. You will not be disappointed. You're going to hear some wonderful music and stories, and you're going to just have a wonderful time at this event. Sure. When we watch the movies, and you hear people going out to monitor or to witness an orchestra, they are the billionaires that go out there because this this is a classic, classic music. You know, it just relax your mind after a hard day's work and you just feel refreshed. So come out, just as Judy said, come and be refreshed on Sunday. And you see the day, the, the time they put it on, it will be on a very quiet hour and you will just enjoy good music, classical music. So that's it. And this is Katie Sam and the kids and Judy are ready to play another note for us. So. Kitty's time. part of an orchestra? I feel fine and great. You feel fine and great. But tell me, what's the difference the orchestra have made in your life? I made so many difference. The way I learn the violin is not how I learn my lesson, my notes, but it teach me in classroom. You see that? I was at the, um, way school? 
you know now Katie said in the head Rachel can go all over but I was at one school and the principal told me the same thing not all of the kids are smart with the lessons but they have this hidden talent in them and you just hear it from Naomi she does not pick up her lessons that fast but with the orchestra with the violin so you see, so we shouldn't brain our children when the kids study the lesson, we just brain them, dull student. No, they have this hidden talent within them. And this is what Katie Storm is here to do. So we are here to showcase our children's talent. So now me, let's go. So you are not fast with your lessons, but you are fast with playing the violin. So what joy, what extra joy has it brought to you? I, be happy, I can be happy playing the violin with my friends and sis, Julie. That's fine. So, do you imagine yourself, I mean, but what do you see for yourself in the next 10 years to come? We'll be the first librarian youth orchestra. That's great. I know you are the first librarian youth orchestra, but for the next 10 years you will be your, maybe, how are you now? 14. 14, 10 years from now, she will be 24, so 24. See yourself playing before billion years, before stars. How will you make you feel? I'm making feel proud. That's good. Myself will feel proud. You know, the beginning of everything is so so, you know, difficult. But yes, now me is feeling proud today because she will be making history, and the history will be on July 7. So come out and see Naomi and her friends. She's not good with her lessons, not that she's bad, but she's fast at learning the violin, and that is her talent. Yes. So there we go, we take another student and another player of this. Katie's time. Well, if uh, my first time to see this instrument, I was so impressed. Yeah, I was so happy because I used to see this instrument on the television and I watch people playing it. I used to admire the sound, I used to admire the people playing it. So if our proprietor told us that, oh, we were bringing the music class in the school, I thought I was just singing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I saw the instrument and I was so happy and I said to myself that I want to learn this instrument and finally I'm playing it. And actually, I'm appealing to all those who are watching this to please come and support us on July 7th mm -hmm. at the Prince Your Town Hall to see us playing live. I know you're watching it, but come and support us. Come and see the Labyrinth children playing these foreign instruments. Wow, you heard it from Moses. Yes. Morris or Moses? Morris. Morris. Morris make this passionate appeal calling on you the parents well wishers to come out and support them because i myself as old as i am i've always seen a violin from a movie but now i am seeing it live and the greatest part is the kids librarian youth are playing it so that's an amazing thing to do come out and see them live okay so who next Katie's time. Katie's time. We are here at the Liberian Youth Orchestra, and I must admit the kids are so amazing. So, the, my girl, yes. give me five. Good. What is her name? My name is Uniti Babu. Uniti Babu. Unique. Unique. Oh, unique. And how old are you? Ten. Ten. Unique. You are ten years and you are playing a full string instrument called the violin. Tell me your impression, how you feel playing this instrument. I feel very proud. Wow, and I am proud for you. So, Unique, how you like being playing the instrument with your friends? How, you, how is it like for you? Fun. When you play with your friends? Yes. So, are you in a school? Yes. They had a phrase? Yes. So, do you want to play this instrument all your life? Or yeah. you just play it for fun? Play it all my life. You want to play it? Eh? Yes. So, tell me now, you are 10. 10 years from now. Wait, how are you going to see yourself? 
Where? Uh, to see myself playing with the baby. Wow, playing for them, right? Yes. Entertaining them. Okay, so unique. Thank you so much. So I know you put all effort, just as you put all effort the past eight months, right? Yes. And you always make effort to be at all parties. Yes. Thank you. Give me five. Kitty's time. Nathan. Yes. Uh, Nathan, how old are you? I'm 12 years. Nathan is 12 years. Yes. Yeah. Nathan, I believe you been part of this orchestra from the very beginning. Yeah, yes. How has it been? Oh, man. I went a lot the library you orchestra because mm -hmm. from since I've been doing myself, mm -hmm. I haven't yet played violin and now I'm so grateful to God that St. Julie has brought violin into Liberia and now I can play violin. Wow, I'm happy for you. So playing the violin is a tedious thing and your lessons, how are you coping with the both of them? Oh really? Mm -hmm. Well now I, I can play the violin, yes. Yeah. What's about the school what your school attended? Yes, I can also You still making your, yeah. your KTA, your ninety, yeah, well, yeah. you still making your friend in the school. Thank you so much. So you said you are how old? Twelve years. Twelve years. Ten years from now. What do you want to see yourself? Oh really? I wanna see myself being a teacher or a director. Oh, yes. A director, but yes. you know, and the directors they are very great. Those yes. who direct the orchestra, I like your vision. Give me five for that. Five. Well, five. Oh, yes. Mama. Jesus. Be oh, yes. directing when you standing out there. How you want your your you know your orchestra to play? Let me see that first start. I first start with the song Come That Fun. Mm -hmm. Give me five or a bigger one. Okay, this is the Library Youth Orchestra and we are still here with them. So we are going to be, before we take our closing song with the Library Youth Orchestra, we will look at what they passed through for the past eight months before reaching this day. And you know, the final to be you know, prepared to go and sit before crowd and perform. So let's take this break with all of what the youth passed through to prepare them. Judy was here, she was here abroad, she was there and always making progress with them. So let's watch. Kitty's time. Oh. Okay. I was actually very surprised by many things, but the one thing that was the biggest blessing was just how one of the unknowns for me was how the program would continue after I left and there was that group of young adults. I was able to identify a couple of them as assistants. That was probably the biggest unknown for me that was a huge answer to prayer. Even unpacking the container and just seeing none of the instruments. Uh, they're still working hard at it. Um, I think sitting down and doing interviews with individual students one at a time was pretty eye-opening for me so I got to hear their stories. You know I, I was pretty amazed that I think they have a sense of urgency and a sense of this is a game changer for them for their life so some of them really have just started pouring a lot into it because they see like this could change my life it is very different um, because the core music education is not there 
So it's a little more, um, there's more to it than just teaching strength. It's fun though, it's like fun to see them learning something for the first time, like how to, you know, read music. The biggest surprise, the biggest awesome difference is like, I was saying, like they practice unbelievably, like way more than students here. So most of the students, I would say, are practicing, working on their instrument from about one o'clock to four o'clock. The father of one of my students, I got to talk with him and I said, so, you know, what does your son say about music class? And he's like, oh, well, he comes home every day and he just goes on and on about it and he just talks about how much he loves it and can't wait to go back the next day to music class. At the concert, several parents gave little speeches at the end of the concert, you know, just saying how, how much their student is enjoying it, how they are really appreciative of the opportunity for their child. So I think as it unfolds, as more parents in the community and even the country starts to see what this is all about, I think it will be um, a really great thing for their country. The first one who elected a female as president. And we have had many firsts. We are friends to many. But this music school that is about to begin here today is another first. After the war, we haven't had such. And so we want to thank God for this unique opportunity. And I know that His grace will shower the people who will be playing these instruments so that they will do music beyond our expectation. We thank God, we thank those who have worked so hard, Ken International, Eric and his team, and Julie and her husband for making this possible. May God bless you. May God restore whatever you have utilized for this school. May he replenish it a thousand times in Jesus' name. Amen. And so we cut the ribbon in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the blessed Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, but we'll start working on that one as a group tomorrow. I'm Miguel Kovla, director of the Library Youth Orchestra. And this morning we are here to play the national anthem for the student of Hall of Grace. And this will be a quarter until we go until we, we perform at this, uh, the Monora City Hall in June. So every morning you will see us here and we are grateful to play the national anthem every day.
today but I will not just leave you like that and I'm also calling on you watching please come out tomorrow Sunday 5 p.m. or two hours program and you will love it I mean you will love it because you will feel refreshed at the end of the day so please come out support the library youth orchestra it is the first of its kind and you will have a wonderful time. But before we go, I've been Auntie Rachel and I'm saying bye bye. But Judy and the kids, they are here to just give us one, 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 one more. Bye bye. Kitty's time.
National Television brings to you big time television program for your kids. Katie's Time is designed to explore the inherent talents of the kids in their respective schools and their communities. Join the kids as they dance, spell, read, recite, and present. Katie's Time is truly captivating and will keep you glued to your TV sets as you watch the kids do great performances on LN TV. This and every Saturday at 10 a.m. only on LN TV.